From the hardwood floors to the vegetables on the shelf, agriculture plays a huge role in the grocery store. But there's even more to the story. The Tennessee Department of Agriculture's Weights and Measures Inspectors are so-called grocery store superheroes. They protect both the consumer and business by checking the accuracy of all scales, like those at the checkout, at the meat counter, and at the fuel pump. The consumer wants to be sure that he's getting what he's paying for. If he's paying for a pound, that he's getting a pound. If he's buying a gallon, paying for a gallon, that he's getting a gallon. Using weights certified by national standards, inspectors check every scale. In order to pass, a scale must match the test weight exactly. It's called a shift test. And this, what this does is checks each one of the four load cells, make sure they're working properly together. And it's good. So when they're good, we uh, give them a oh, sticker of approval. Uh, this sticker goes on gas pumps and scales. Inspectors also weigh packaged foods, guaranteeing that the amount listed on the label is truly what's inside. It's just as important for industry to be right as it is like customer to be getting the right amount. And we work for both of them. We work for both industry and uh, consumer. The inspection continues in the grocery aisle. We also do a price, what we call price verifications, where we'll go into a store and we compare the register price with the price on the shelf to make sure they're correct. Crisco. They also inspect outside at the gas pump. We want to pump five gallons of pump, so the pump says five gallons on it. And then we compare it where it's at on here. Fuel is collected to check for quality. It's labeled and sent to a lab in Memphis where analysts make sure it meets all the EPA and state requirements. The challenging thing really is uh, just the number of scales and number of pumps and, and the number of retails in the state of Tennessee just being able to get to them. It's a job that may go unnoticed, but it's just one more way the Department of Agriculture is serving citizens of Tennessee.